The Nashville Predators enter the 2016-17 season listed with odds of 14-1 to to win the Stanley Cup. The Predators are coming off a season in which they finished 7th in the Western Conference, but one in which they had some playoff success as they defeated the Anaheim Ducks in the first round. The Predators were really just an average team last season as they won 41 games and lost 41 games. They made the playoffs because 14 of those losses came in overtime or a shootout, so they got a point in those games. The Nashville Predators had an overall record of 41, 27, 12, and 2, and the team was five games better at home than on the road last season. Nashville was a decent home team last season with 23 wins on home ice, but the Predators won just 18 games on the road. It was tough to predict the totals for this team a year ago as they went over 33 times and under 33 times with 16 pushes. The Predators should be a team that goes over the total more often in 2016 and 17 as Subban is a little better than Weber offensively and worse defensively. Nashville was 12th in goals scored last season and 14th in goals against, so they really were not much better than a 500 team. Other than the Weber for Subban trade, this team didn't do much in the offseason to improve, so they should finish with a similar record in 2016 and 17 to what they had a year ago. The Nashville Predators will look very different on the blue line in 2016-17 as gone is longtime star Shea Weber and in is exciting but enigmatic P.K. Subban. The Predators might be a little more explosive on offense this season with the addition of Subban, but it is almost a guarantee they are going to be weaker on defense. Nashville really did nothing else to improve in the offseason, and in fact, you can make a case they are weaker if you think that Weber is better than Subban. Nashville relied heavily on Weber to control their blue line in the past years, and there is no question that Subban is not as good as Weber defensively. It will be interesting to see how Subban and Roman Josie work together because both are considered offensive players. The Predators are relying heavily on Ryan Johansson producing in a big way in 2016 and 17. They traded away a potential superstar defenseman in Seth Jones to Columbus last season to get Johansson, so they need him to be a big goal scorer. The key for Nashville, as it oftentimes is, will be the play of goaltender Pekka Rinne. He had a bounce back season a year ago and was really good, and Nashville made the playoffs. If he plays at an elite level again, then the Predators can contend for a playoff spot, but it is not going to be easy because he won't get nearly as much help defensively. The Predators could slip in 2016-17 and struggle to make the playoffs. Another thing that should happen with the Predators this season is that they go over the total more often than they did a year ago. Click over now and check out all the latest NHL hockey odds on the board and make a few wagers with BetDSI.com.